O que você quer com o bolo? I know you did it, Bliss. I always catch you messing with stuff. Sabe outra parte minha que fala em Monotsuki Batam Tatan? Okay, you two. Someone care to explain? Someone plotted a course on the Mantis's Navcom without running it by anyone. We were about to make the jump when I caught it. Como já babi ia saru baxi bati a louco? Rishi. I don't think it was Bliss. In fact, I'm pretty sure it wasn't anyone on the ship. Telling me we were sliced? How were you not on top of that? Never saw a data routine like it before. It looks like Republic spy stuff, but modified. And that's just part of it. You've been up on the blacklist lately? Every listing claims Rishi was the Mark's last known location, including... A bounty. On him. Right. Guess someone wants me to go to Rishi. Well... What kind of guy would I be if I disappointed them? We're true! You're here! You're you're really here! You know me. Oh sure! I've heard you described in great detail. Great detail! You run the Howling Tempest Gang, the most daring, ruthless pirates of the Gordian Reach. Wherever that is. I don't know what you think you've heard, but you're mistaken. Nice try, but there's no mistake in the talk of the town. Seems like everyone in Raiders Cove is going on about you and all your insane adventures. <laughs> talk about your tough customers. You're basic. It's very natural. My people pick up languages and stuff real easy. Some of us like to be formal. I'm more of a cantina talk type. Speaking of cantinas, you'll want to watch for Goro. He wants to fight you so bad, it's not even funny. Wants to fight me? What did I do? You'll have to ask him. Considering what a big deal you are, it's probably just for bragging rights. Goro's at the Blaster's Path. Local watering hole, probably washing down some tonitron jerky with some Antelian fungo lager. I'm not allowed there anymore. Long story. <laughs> so I hope someone hollows your big fight. Wouldn't want to miss a single bloody shot. I hear you looking for me, or someone who fits my description at least. Kafsta undile, jigo hola lukuta. Think you just did that yourself, Goro? Hang on. You're not about to wreck my place again, are you? I'm still filling in blaster holes. Inigu daiji liskatsunangawa! Tsuk 
Kusa Malachikuta, Ikosa Mose Alachuta. Care to explain what this is all about? Rupata Titok Makichisa, Chubala Wawuni. Makipuna Malituta, or Mishka. Last chance to back up before you made a huge mistake, Goro. Kuchuso, you matachikotoya. You know, a few blaster marks is one thing. Gives the place some charm. But this... All right, you scum. You know who I am. And you know I can probably find a contract out on every last one of you. Just point me to the Joker behind all this Howling Tempest junk, and I won't go claiming any bounties. Fair enough? Everyone's talking about you. Couldn't tell you how it all got started, but I can tell you who gave Goro the idea to come after you. Don't do it, Karina. You know what Margok would say about ratting out a resident? If Margok ever pays the tab all you Nova Blades have run up, then maybe I'll start to care what he thinks. Guy you want is Kai Zyken, leader of the Corellian-run scoundrels. A real gem. Goro said Zyken owes you a pile of credits. He hired Goro to take you out for a fraction of what it would cost to pay you. Where do I find him? Beats me. It's not like I hang out with the guy. Ask Zyken's crew. They're all over Raider's Cove. Like stink flies. Others might not appreciate your cooperation, but I do. Figure it's either help out, or have a bigger mess to clean up. I can handle the Nova Blades being sore with me. See ya, Goro. Hope your brother doesn't decide this was my fault. Well, look at this, scoundrels! <laughs> a visit from... Uh... I was making a dramatic pause, Tomoda. I know it's the Hurling Tempest. Kai Zyken. I'm sure you've heard my name. Most commonly accompanied by a longing sigh from one of my former conquests. Now here's the deal. The Corellian-run scoundrels may owe you a debt, but it's not coming out of my hide. Take it up with accounting. I don't know where everyone got the idea I belong to some gang, but I'm sick of hearing it. Wait, you're saying you're not... But that doesn't... Oh, you're just trying to confuse me. Yakimbaba. What? Was that a slam? Did you just slam me? Okay, all right. Listen, we can't pay. The freedom to operate in Raider's Cove isn't exactly free. After the Nova Blades take their cut, we're tapped. Not before you get an itch. I do have something of value. Something I know you want. Quit stalling and start talking. I record all my holocalls, and that includes the one that warned me you were coming to Rishi. I'll show it to you. Tomoda, get my data pad! Nobi chunky. Forgot that she auto endia. Oh, that's bad, Tomoda. That's, uh, that's bad. Kokutachuska no iku chusa. Yumata chipotata. Oh, right! Yes! Thank you, Tomoda! <laughs> I knew there was a reason I kept you around. Here! You could find and unlock the case with this tracer. And you could even keep the data pad. How's that? Provided I get the information you promised, we have a deal. Can't argue with that. Guessing you wouldn't let me if I tried, huh? You howling Temple Club folks, <laughs> you're not so bad after all. Read the Chapawa. Right, that's what I said. Kaizaiken, greetings. I speak to you now to deliver a warning. The Howling Tempest Gang is one of the galaxy's most feared pirate associations. They have just now set their sights on Rishi. As you know, the Corellian Run Scoundrels owe the Howling Tempest Gang a great many credits. There is no telling what will happen when you are discovered. I suggest you herald the gang's arrival to draw unwanted attention on them. I'm dispatching several droids across Raiders Cove to do the same. 
Or you could do nothing and suffer the consequences. The choice is yours. Greetings to you! Would you like to hear a true story about the legendary Howling Tempest Gang? Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't realize it was you! How exciting. Such a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What exactly is your purpose? I've been assigned by my master to spread word of your many accomplishments throughout all of Raider's Cove. Why, in the time since your arrival, you have already defeated the illustrious Goro, brought fear to the Corellian-run scoundrels and Carida Corsairs. Even the Nova Blades have taken notice of you. My master would be most impressed. Why is that impressive? What's so special about the Nova Blades? I'm afraid you would need to ask my master. Fortunately, I've been authorized to direct you to a rendezvous point, so you can do just that. Oh, do be careful in your travels. Legend or no, Goro's brother Grom is severely displeased as to Goro's fate. Stella, be your red. Look now, Green Slim Monita, Rikoka Shuro Red. I'd let the meaning of that fact sink in a second before you act. Fura Mero, Tartal Me Soe Varunsek. I link, Honore Donaxa, Tingno Bum Fry, Ramiruk Shak. Look now. Grim Slim Monita, Rikoka Shuro Reg. Grim, Javitsa! Gola, Gola! Team Unstable Drar! Dum Sona, no more da kin pavuri fraya. Wine Likro, Kroru Bark. Frankly, I got better things to waste my ammo on. Show's over, folks. Nico? The hunter arrives, just as I'd hoped you would. I trust Rishi has been to your liking. I know you were gonna find some backwater to hide out in, but this is a bit much. You'd be hurting our feelings, if we actually had anything to do with picking this place. Hello, Theron. Is that a good hello or a bad one? Outside of Lana, I can never tell with you Imperial types. The Empire's a lucrative client. But they don't own me. Okay, if you say so. If we're to succeed here, we'll need to cooperate a great deal. I suggest we don't antagonize one another. Yeah, okay. Well, in the spirit of cooperation, I'll get things rolling. The Revenites are here, on Rishi. That's why we led you here under false pretenses. They can't know we're onto them. We need you to go out there and make life hard for the Revenite's allies, the Nova Blades. I know the Nova Blades are running things in Raider's Cove, but how are they helping the Revenites? From what we've been able to gather, the Revenite's agents in the Empire and Republic have been feeding the Nova Blades intel on ship activity. The Blades then use that intel to ambush military patrols and key shipping lanes on both sides. They're essentially remapping hyper routes. What good does that do them? That's what we'd like to find out. Hate to admit it, but I haven't been able to remotely slice the Blade's computers. I have to have their security shut down. The trouble is, we can't have any suspicion raised that our attack is related to the Revenite's activities. I'll light into the Blade's like some big-time greedy pirate, and no one's the wiser. Yeah, you've got it exactly. Bust up their operations, get their attention, make yourself look legitimate, and then go for the throat. We have a trusted source who's determined that the Nova Blades base, a wrecked ship called the Aggressor, contains their entire security apparatus. That's our final target. And who might that be? Someone you already know. Two someones, if we're being precise. We'll place you in range of the first Nova Blade target. 
That's where our source is waiting. It really is good to see you again. Been hiding out a long time. It's nice to see someone who isn't a complete stranger. Good luck out there. Yes. May the Force serve you well. It's you! It's really you! I can hardly believe my optical circuits! Jakaro and D4. I was hoping I hadn't seen the last of you. <coughs> and may I thank you for not taking advantage of yet another bounty on our heads. <coughs> All bluster aside, this planet's inhabitants are not to be trifled with. The Nova Blades, in particular, are a powerful and organized group. That is why we intend to depower and disorganize them by firing from Jakaro's ship on the targets of your choosing. If we're using a ship, we could take out their entire depot. If you are to be implicated as the perpetrator of these acts, you must be seen flagging their assets. <coughs> <coughs> I'd wish you good luck if I thought you'd need it. We'll keep in touch. It's like a war zone, Commodore. We're gonna lose everything if we don't airlift what's left to the slave camp. And we're not backing down just because some upstart crew thinks they got what it takes to break us. Buckle down, be a Nova Blade, and kill whoever's messing with us. But Commodore Markok... You heard him. Kill whoever's messing with you. Or try. At least. I took down a dozen contenders to get this post. I ain't even a little bit scared of you. I was hoping you'd pick that one. The job's done. Excellent news, but it's only our first step. One of the Nova Blades mentioned a slave camp, somewhere remote. We should strike there next. Good call, actually. I ran across some chatter about that place. Basically, anyone in Raider's Cove who doesn't give the Nova Blades a slice of their action, or whatever, gets locked away. Some get put into hazardous labor, like mining, but most are sold as slaves to visitors from off-world. It's a lucrative business for the Blades. Not anymore. You got that right. You'll have to slip in with one of the Nova Blade's cargo shipments. I'm sure the island's heavily guarded, so try not to get killed. I believe Theron means to say he's concerned for your safety, as am I. May the Force serve you well. Jakaro, I have a pickup for you. C2D4 here. We have your coordinates and are on our way. Been mining Exonium for the Blades every day for two years. All to pay off a lousy three grand I owed. And I ain't the only one. Your debt's the least of a Nova Blade's worries right now. I believe it. Even in this place, we hear stuff. About your gang, the way you've been making life ugly for the Blades. We want to be a part of that. You want to work for me? Hey, we're good at a whole lot of stuff. I tell you what. Get in touch with a pal of mine in Raider's Cove, Harlow Ricks. Check in with Ricks from time to time, tell him what you want us to do, and we'll do it. Simple as that. You get nice and close to Margok, you give him one for me, alright? say the Nova Blades are properly distracted, wouldn't you? That would be an understatement. Theron's been monitoring communications. You've caused quite a stir. Want some gratification? Here, check this out. Just recorded. They're blasting them my supplies, my foot soldiers! Taking my workers! What are you people prepared to do about it? This appears to be your problem, not ours. How would you like it if I made it your personal problem? Now give me Revan! I want to talk to Revan! No, I don't think so. You don't put Revan on. The Nova Blade stop rerouting galactic traffic. That ain't negotiable.
Revan. Commodore Margok, are you threatening to alter the terms of our deal? I paid you to do a job and you've done it well. But that's over now. I no longer have any use for your Nova Blades. Hey, I know Torch and her Mandalorian clan up and left us. But the Blades still got a lot to offer. Not if you don't have your own house in order. Put an end to the upstart causing you trouble and I'll consider resuming our alliance. You really did it. You got them running scared. That's the only way this was ever gonna go. Guess it was silly of me to question, huh? The Nova Blades still have an impressive roster of hardened criminals at their disposal, and the aggressor is still heavily fortified. The aggressor's their headquarters. You've seen it. A crashed ship Margok turned into a fortress. Can't get in without the proper security codes. That won't be a problem for me. We'll get Jakaro to lend a hand all the same. If nothing else, the activity will keep him from picking apart D4 any further. Baron. Finally in. Nice work. Now to see where Margok's hiding all his secrets. You. You dirty, no-good pirate scum. Funny. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, go ahead and laugh it up. Won't be laughing long. My forebears founded Raiders Cove. This is my island, and I'm not giving it up. So come on in. Do your worst. In the end, you ain't coming out alive. They've got live slicers, and they're managing network security on the fly. I can't do anything until they're offline. I'll handle it. I'm sure you will. This is my ship. Think you can just walk on in and be left alive? Theron, are you getting this? Loud and clear, I'm in. Full access. This is the sort of momentum we could never create on our own. We need to maintain that momentum. Surely if the Revanites are done with the Nova Blades, as Revan indicated, they're onto the next stage of their plan. There better be something in the Nova Blades files that sheds some light on what Revan's doing with those hyperspace routes. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm starting to feel like flying blind is the new normal. While Theron's pulling down data, I suggest you start to make your way back to Raider's Cove. Hopefully you'll have found something of use by then. What have we learned from the aggressor? Very little, I'm afraid. It would appear someone took it upon themselves to corrupt much of the data as a last resort. It's a real mess, getting fragments but nothing incredibly coherent. The one thing that does keep turning up is the Mandalorian Margot brought up earlier, the one they call Torch. What about her? Well, it looks like Torch and Margot were thick as thieves for a while, then something happened. It had to do with the Revanites. Don't really know the details, but it looks like Torch moved her whole clan to another island here on Rishi. I've got the coordinates. Jikaro, ready your ship. I'll go see what this Torch has to say for herself. I'm sending Jikaro out on a scouting run. I've made local arrangements for your transportation should he not return in time. Well, you've been busier than I thought. Get whatever information you can from the Mandalorians. With any luck, they'll lead us to the Revanites. Hello? Hello? Are you the Grand Champion? Who is this? I'm Thera Markin. Krista's daughter. She was your handler, right? On the Great Hunt? I heard you were on Rishi. I want to meet with you. Krista's... dead. Name a time and place. I'll be there. I've got a room at the cantina. I'll be drinking. Bring your slicer if you want to check my story. Just come soon as you can. Thanks for doing this. Krista was crazy, but I kind of liked her. If something's happened. Thera Markin. Stars, you're like a walking... Does anything you're wearing not kill people? You said Krista was dead. My mom. Yeah. She talked about both of you. She hunted for years, wanted me to take up the business, but coaching you was her biggest win. She got a rep for it. 
You made her respect it again. She liked that. We weren't friends, but Krista gave me a fair shot. Tell me what happened to her. I run a small ship in concern. Direct to customer regulated goods. Smuggling. Right. Krista got killed protecting my business from the Kanoan Syndicate. Thugs dealing in weapons and spice. Kanoans have been after me for months. They want my roots, my customers. Krista's rep, your rep, made them keep their distance. What sort of chatter is there about this syndicate? I know it's pretty small. Just a few dozen men, but with serious credentials. They skinned an exchange boss who wouldn't join. A few weeks back, they started harassing me again. Krista showed up. I might have mentioned your name, too. The Kanoans said they wouldn't fall for it this time. They said Mom was washed up. They said you're Imperial now, you don't do underworld jobs. They didn't say that. That's not okay. Everyone says it. That you escaped the life to become, I don't know, Dark Council Enforcers. They killed Mom, but I still have money. I'm putting a bounty on the Kanoans. I want their bosses in a bloody heap. I owe Krista Markin, and I pay my debts. Forget the credits. Okay. Thank you. Finding the Kanoans won't be hard. Start at the bottom, work your way to the leaders. Avax, Crone, and Dastid. Avax used to be an assassin for the Shevin conglomerate. Brutal, kind of a sadist. Crone's her brother, former slaver, loves his guns. And Dastid? Worked for the cartel until McKeb happened. Hit a colony ship once, spaced 500 people on board. Watch out for him. I'll hit those three after the rank and file. Where do I look? I've got a list of their hangouts. I'll stay in touch over comm if you want. I want you to know, I appreciate this. Krista would too. You did it. You're sure you did it? Dastid wears armor. Trust us, armor melts. The Kanawan Syndicate is finished. Its leaders are dead. Thank you. Really, thank you. I don't... I don't like having people killed. But we had to. Not just for the business, but for my mom. She'd be glad it was you. Krista went down fighting for the sake of her family. That's not a lot of comfort, but it should mean something. No, I know. I get it. You said you wouldn't charge, but Krista would never accept charity. I've transferred a little to your accounts. Can I ask you something, though? I know you're not, like, a citizen, but you must have opinions about working in the Empire. You want the truth? Most people don't have a clue what they're doing, but they keep my work interesting. Guess that's not easy when you're running out of things to kill. So, just a thought? You must be big enough to have some authority there. Priority access, clearance codes, that sort of thing. What are you suggesting? Now that my business is safe, I want to expand. You could get me access to Droman Koss. I could sell contraband to a whole new market. We'd both profit. I'm not in the business of crime. If you don't understand that, I doubt you understood Krista. You don't have the right to say that. When's the last time gang trouble even scared you? You used to work for Nemro the Hut. You used to get your hands dirty. Come on. We did what we came to do. And if that's the life we left behind, maybe we're better off. Maybe we shouldn't miss it. Shay Visla. That little nickname the locals came up with. Hell if I know why. You recently had a falling out with the Revenites and the Nova Blades. One Mandalorian to another. Think you could help me out? What? You think I didn't recognize Mandalore's favorite champion? I might be off the grid these days, but I'm not thick. Tell you what. Instead of whatever grand gesture of cooperation you thought might happen here, why don't we try something a little different? 
Been a while since I had a decent challenge. I'm taking this opportunity to show my clan how it's done. Sonoma. Okay, so I'm a little rustier than I'd like to admit. But just a little. Felt good to be in a real scrap for once. I'm impressed. Flattery, huh? Oh, what the hell, I'll take it. So... You know the Blades went and partnered up with the Revenites. Means you probably know they're up to no good. We helped out the Blades to have a good relationship with Raiders Cove. We didn't sign up for the Revenites in their all-out war, so we bailed. Tell me where the Revenites are, and what I'm up against. Afraid I don't have the where to give you. But I can clue you in on the what. A whole fleet of ships they've got parked somewhere around here. I wouldn't mind it a bit if you chased the Revenites out of Rishi. Off the radar is just how we like it here. Retour Shimi Mando. It was an honor to spar with you. Kesush Mando Ade! Who's up for a Skarkla hunt? I understand your frustration, Jakaro, but there's only so much of your bluster I'm prepared to take. What's going on? Theron's been captured by the Revenites. Data from the Nova Blades hinted at the location of a Revenite safe house in Raider's Cove. We looked into it and were ambushed. They wouldn't bother taking Theron prisoner unless they needed something from him. Were I in their position, I'd do everything I could to learn how much Theron knows. Whatever the case, I stand by my decision to not impede in Theron's abduction. And I know Theron would too. Now he's in a position to do what he does. Theron should never have fallen into enemy hands. We can't let it stand. I wouldn't dream of leaving him with the Revenites. After all, we need to know what he's learned whilst in captivity. Hopefully you've fared better with the Mandalorians. Revan has a fleet of warships on standby. Of course. From examining the Nova Blades data, it looks as though they've been routing Imperial and Republic fleets here to Rishi. So the Empire and Republic are drawn into a full-scale battle, and whoever's left standing, the Revenites pick off. And we still don't know who we can trust. We need to interfere with the Revenites' plans, if not stop them outright. Uh, uh, mm. Yes, it's true. I was able to pinpoint several communications originating from another island. I'm told there's a Rishi village on the outskirts. I can't imagine they would resent our presence there. I'm not telling them I'm some pirate. I don't imagine you'll have to. The Rishi do seem to be very hands-off, from my understanding. We have to assume Revan's expecting a resistance force now. You should expect to find patrols along the way. <coughs> Oh, no. Are you in charge here? We don't really operate that way, but I can act as that sort of figure if you require it of me. How might I help? My allies and I would like to stay here. Do what you like. No Rishi will have an issue with your presence. I suppose now that we've left Raiders Cove, you're going to start complaining about them instead of the pirates. You cleared the path well, and made a friend. I am called a Renkow. The other inhabitants on this island, are you in contact with them? Do you know what they're up to? If an individual Rishi chooses to get involved with others, that's that Rishi's choice. Otherwise, we tend to see no reason to inquire. These other inhabitants, they have also kept to themselves. Strangely, their encampment appears to be segregated. One group looks like her, the other is less... intense. Imperial and Republic traitors working side by side, but still wary of one another. 
This may provide an opportunity, either to extract atonement for their deception or to employ a little deception of our own. It's an opportunity to thin the ranks, is what it is. Your zeal for making heads roll never ceases to surprise me, D4. Don't worry yourself, it may yet come to that. I'll take a closer look at these Revenite camps. And we'll attempt to establish a better grasp of their activities. I hope we can establish where Agent Shan is being held. As do I. We, Rishi, would be grateful for your help around the village. If you choose to provide it, of course. Savor your travels. Be patient, Sergeant, but be ready. As soon as we have word from Revan, our work begins. Lord Ivris, sir, there's... it's... You. I would have heard if there was a bounty out on anyone here. That could only mean... we're found out. I suppose Darth Maar sent you to fight his battle for him. Seems his usual way. No, better still. You learned about us and thought Maar could be in on it. You're here on your own. We have the upper hand. You've heard the stories, seen hollows of my handiwork. This really what you want? Just say the word. You're bluffing. Strike at us now, and you won't make it out of this camp alive. I'll survive, and you'll be the first to go. Then the sergeant. You know I'm right. If I may say, my lord, he does make a convincing argument. It does seem we've been less than a step ahead for some time now. Our position at our heels and in the shadows. You'll get no further resistance from me. I can't vouch for every last Imperial Revenite, of course, but I can speak for those present. Smart thinking, Sith. I'm going to send out a team to look into your claims about the Republic Revenites. Could be you're on to something. There have been reports of skirmishes in the area. I want you to stay alert for anything out of the ordinary. Such as? By the stars! Be ready to fire on my mark! No, not on your mark. On mine. Oh! You've got Ivers' people. You've turned him against the cause. Whatever you think you've accomplished, you won't stop Revan, I promise you. Laying waste to the Empire and Republic. What does Revan hope to accomplish? Revan wants to reshape the galaxy. To save it. That comes at a cost most fine too high to pay. Not me. I'll tell you this much. They took your collaborator to a stronghold in a valley on this very island. I hope you chase after him. <laughs> you won't survive. That's all. I don't have the details of Revan's plan. Even if I did, I'd never tell you. Hit the trail, Captain. Don't care where you go, but you ain't staying here. I... Okay. I'm leaving. I'm gone. Lana, Theron's being held in a valley stronghold. Could be Revan is there as well. I have D4 see what the Rishi know about it. We'll work out a plan of attack once you've returned. I've never met a people quite like the Rishi. Pragmatic, accommodating, reasonable. If it wasn't for the climate, I'd consider staying. I'm sure we have more important things to discuss. Yes, of course. Rishi observations surrounding the Revenite stronghold fit what we know. They're holding powerful warships on standby, and they're well protected. Revan actually intends to take on the Imperial and Republic fleets all at once. It's audacious, to be sure. We've been unable to reach the Imperial fleet nearing Rishi, but I can confirm from the Nova Blades data logs that Darth Maar's flagship is among them. Get to work on a solution for our connection issues. He needs to know what's coming. I'm working to remap the interference patterns into a code that protocol droids on approaching ships should be able to decipher, if they're any good. Press on. Stall their ships if you can, and we'll do what we can from here to reach the fleet and lend support as needed. <laughs> I'm no pushover, but you aren't joking. We do hope Agent Shan is recovered. Yes. Preferably alive. Now go show the Revanites. And, fate willing, Revan himself. 
why you are not to be trifled with. I'm starting to get the hang of slicing. Theron's influence, I suppose. Give me one second. There. A hollow record of Theron under interrogation. Coordinates are coming your way. And Revan? No indication he's there, but no indication he isn't either. I wouldn't let my guard down. Revan. I should have known the Empire would send one of its lapdogs to try and find me. You should never have bothered. What have you done with Theron? Theron Shan's fate doesn't matter. Neither does yours. I'm changing the fate of the galaxy itself. I get you've lost your mind. I understand how you might see it that way from your narrow point of view. I'm not waging some war with the Empire and Republic. I'm saving countless lives, and you keep getting in the way. The only upside in your being here, really, is that you get to bear witness. My plan's too far along for you to stop it now. Don't listen to him. It's not over yet. Theron, there you are. Figured I had a lot to tell you, so I broke out. Guess I could have saved myself the trouble. Don't know how much Lana or Revan told you, but he's lured the Imperial and Republic command fleets to Rishi. Revan wants to draw them into a fight. Try to take out the leadership. It'll barely be a fight. Revanites embedded on both sides are gonna sabotage shields, weapons, you name it. And we can't warn them. Revan had the Nova Blades build him a signal jammer. No communications at all up in Rishi space. It'll be a bloodbath. One call to Jakaro, and no more signal jammer. The Revanites got that thing protected. You send Jakaro out there, and he and D4 become part of the landscape. This place is coming down. Soon. You could have joined me, Theron. Understandably, you're as tenacious as I ever was. Goodbye. Hello? Are you there? Lana? What just happened? I appear to have sliced through four layers of encryption to remotely deactivate the power core. Just in the nick of time. Don't know if I could have managed that even. Theron, good to know you're alive. I heard everything, about the jammer, all of it. We need to regroup for an immediate attack. Whatever happens, be proud of what we've accomplished up to now. See you soon. All right, take it easy. I'm not exactly 100%, and you're not exactly gentle. Oh, good! The team's back together again. All thanks to you for saving Theron, of course. He was practically out the door all on his own. Theron, you have the intelligence on this signal jammer. You start. Right. The intelligence I gathered in the company of several interrogation probes while being held against my will? Jammer's on a nearby island. You've probably seen it. Can't be sliced remotely. Lots of Revanite zealots protecting it. The usual hopeless nightmare, basically. The way you two are behaving toward each other... I want to know what's going on. It's nothing that can't wait. Time's running short. You know what to do. It's what you always do. Triumph. Come in. Can anyone read me? 
I'm here. And you are on Rishi. Darth Mar, you have traitors in your fleet. Scores of them. Acting under orders from Revan. Revan... is alive? He wants you to destroy each other up there. Have the fleet powered down all weapons. Do it now. Your people should have a list of the traitors. Finally, an open line. Grandmaster Sean, it appears we have been set upon each other by your ancestor. Yes, we were notified by an agent of ours whose planet side. We're taking measures to detain the traitors among us. As are we. Given the nature of the threat, I suggest we speak in person. Very well. A neutral location. There's a pirate town on Rishi. My team will send the coordinates. That will do. Then we are agreed. A truce. For the time being. Tell me this means I just doubled my client base. Not quite, Hunter. Satil Shan, Grand Master of the Jedi Order. Your intervention allowed us to defend ourselves against the Revanite fleet. Many thousands owe their lives to your actions. And the all-encompassing rot of the Order of Revan has been excised from our fleets. Now we turn to the matter of Revan himself. My agent here has discovered that Revan's on the fourth moon of Yavin, where he believes the last spark of the Sith Emperor resides. Revan intends to return the Emperor from the brink of death, so he may finally be destroyed. No offense, Mar, but it seems the Emperor is more trouble than he's worth. Maybe you should let Revan do the deed. No offense taken. In fact, I would tend to agree. The Emperor hungers. If restored, he would attempt to consume all life in the galaxy, and I am certain he would succeed. No one, not Revan, not the Jedi, not you, not me, would be able to stop him. Darth Maher and I will be leading a joint strike force on Yavin 4 to put an end to Revan's plan. I hope you'll join us. As do I, for the Empire and for the galaxy. That went surprisingly well, I think. Yeah. It's nice to see the Empire and Republic can work together without stabbing each other in the back. It was the right move arranging for your capture. We've succeeded, haven't we? Unbelievable. Where's the trust, huh? Did they go wander off someplace, or was it never there to start with? With all that's going on around us, we have to be able to trust each other. You owe Theron an apology. At the risk of seeming egotistical, I will not apologize for being right. Do it. Theron, I recognize that I betrayed your trust, and for that I'm sorry. Isn't there... anything else you wanted first? Yes. Will that be all? What good are all the credits I've earned if no one's allowed to watch me spend them? We need to stop Revan. That's certainly one way of looking at it. Hunter, you almost made me laugh out loud. Now, wouldn't that be a sign? Have you ever heard a Tatooine sand person laugh? Terrifying! I love it. Mm. We're ready whenever you are. To Yavin 4, then. Let's finish this. <laughs>